In this problem, we're working with a double bar chart. So that's when you know you have a typical bar graph, a bar chart, but they split each section into two different categories. In this case, they've got males and females, and they're showing the number of employees in each of the different departments in a business broken down by males and females. This might be useful if you want to track which departments have more males or more females. The problem says Lakes Corporation has four departments. The double bar graph shows how many male and female employees are in each department. Use this graph to answer the questions. And we've got some questions under here. A says, estimate the number of females in accounting. So to do that, all we need to do is look at the chart for accounting. The females are the stripy ones. And um, it looks like it comes a little bit over this line that's at 200. Um, and let's see. it's. 50 to the next line. I'm going to guess that's about 210 there. It's just a little over the line. So let's just say 210 females in accounting. All right, B says, which departments have more females than males? Well, that's easy. We just want to look for where the stripey bar is uh, higher than the full bar, the, the solid bar. So definitely accounting, uh, production, marketing. Yeah, everything except for advertising. So those three. And C says, estimate the total number of employees in production. So here's production. And we want to add the males and the females together to get the total number. It looks like uh, males is just at 50. Um, females is a little bit over. It looks like just as much over as that other one was. I'm going to call that um, 50 plus 10 or 60. So 50 plus 60 would be 110 employees. So that's a little bit of work with double bar charts.